549 and now it's time for talking with Joe. Joe Rose is live from the WQAM studios this morning. Joe, let's talk some heat hoops once again. They lost, unfortunately. Dropping a close one, though, to the Denver Nuggets. Some good news coming out of last night's game, though. Dion Waiters seems like he's back and I don't know, better than ever, but he's doing pretty good. He's creating quite a spark here for this team. It, nice to have him back out on the court, right? It was good to see him. He had missed the last two games. Well, he missed. He, he didn't get a chance to play. Eric Spolster decided to keep him out of the game. And last night he got his chance, and, and they needed him. Played 25 minutes, uh, played down the stretch, finished the game in the fourth quarter, uh, 6 of 10. Missed a couple of big free throws at the end of that ball game. They really could have used where every point was so important. But it was good to see his instant offense back. And he and Dwayne Wade, I was wondering if we were going to see that. We saw it at the end of the game along with Josh Richardson playing together. So we may see a lot more of that as uh, Miami Heat now have to finish I have to figure out how to finish these close games, which they couldn't do last night. They had some chances and uh, just couldn't finish it out. All right, Joe, you mentioned Dwayne Wade there, and I got to wonder if he's going to have a dancing partner for his one last dance because could this be the end of the road for Udonis Haslam? UD says he is 90% sure he is done. What has UD meant to this franchise? I'm a big fan of his, even though he's a Gator, but yeah. he loves UM, but I still love him because he's a Gator. <laughs> Well, everybody likes UD, yeah. right? You, you like what he stands for. Everybody loved the way he played the game. Uh, he takes great care of himself. His story wasn't a first-round pick coming into the NBA. Had to go overseas before coming back here. So his story is great. There's no question about it. The road to the NBA and then the career that uh, he has had. He's meant a lot. His mm. leadership, uh, if he doesn't do anything else after he's done playing, Udonis Haslam, I heard him with the Miami Dolphins one day. His leadership talks and taking care of all your problems in-house and all those things, I mean, it was an unbelievable speech. He's got a great story. He's lived it uh, with huge egos and, and everybody playing together for one goal. So, uh, yeah, he's been a big part of this thing. Uh, we'll miss him for sure. Yeah. I love getting him on when I can because the guy, he loves all the teams down here. He's fun <laughs> to talk to. But, yeah, they'll miss him, especially the things the fans don't see in that locker room where uh, he's able to take care of and help young egos in the NBA with the Miami Heat. Very important aspect of the game. Joe, thank you so much. We will yeah. talk to you in the next hour. Man, I love talking to you in the morning. <laughs> I got my coffee and Lauren. I mean, it doesn't get any better I just better had my now. shot Thank of cafecito, so I'm charged up for the next hour as well. So we'll talk uh, with each I other I couldn't soon. work with you guys. <laughs> Could not work with you guys. High blood pressure with you guys. You drink too much of that <laughs> crazy keep you coffee. On your toes. Thank you. That's the good stuff. Crazy yeah, coffee. Yeah, well, you do. You <laughs> All do. All right, Joe. Thank you. We got to go.